minutes, I thought, we should be fine. We shouldn't have any trouble, and uh, obviously that I wasn't right. A York County man thought he had booked a relaxing vacation in Mexico. Instead, he ended up witnessing a murder. Fox 43 finds out what you need to be aware of when traveling outside of the United States. Jackie DeTore is here now with a warning. Robert Myers wants to make sure going forward that people know what's happening in the Cancun area. Fox 43 finds out how to make sure you stay safe. Sunshine and relaxation. That's what Robert Myers and his wife thought they were going to get when they arrived at the Hotel Rio Dunamar in the Cancun area of Mexico. It's a trip that I paid for, for an experience I didn't want. The couple from York County was hanging out on this beach in Mexico when they started talking to a vendor. Kind of waved the guy over, he comes over, we're kind of haggling back and forth. We couldn't come to an agreement on price and he turns to walk away and he gets about 20 or 30 feet away and then all of a sudden um, there were shots that were fired. According to newspaper reports in that area, that street vendor was shot and killed. You could hear the bullets ricocheting off the trees. You could actually hear the bullets going around you, which was uh, just kind of surreal uh, in itself. Myers is realistic and knows this could happen anywhere. And I'm not a person who believes you can put the world in bubble wrap. So those things happen, and I understand that. However, it was the response from the hotel staff that set him off. I just spent a lot of money to come to your resort and, and everything else, and you're just not even acting like anything happened. He was told the shooting didn't happen on hotel property. We reached out to the hotel and they sent us a response saying, in part, quote, our guest safety is our top priority and we work very hard to make everyone feel well attended. Fortunately, no guest was harmed and the lifeguard that was wounded was home, safe and healthy shortly after. So the hotel resumed normal operation and activities for all the guests. The hotel also says all beaches in Mexico are public and under federal domain. Myers, though, says if that's really public property, there was nothing to let the guests know that's the case. There's no indication as to where the resort's property line ends and where the, the public beach begins. Um, there was no direction given when we got there as to, hey, here's where our property lines are. We recommend you stay on the resort. Nothing. Myers is also disappointed with the travel agency he used, Liberty Travel in Lancaster, especially because he had second thoughts about traveling to the area a few weeks before his vacation in May. We reached out to the travel agent and expressed the concern. We actually had expressed that we were thinking of moving the vacation to just somewhere totally different. Um, and the travel agent had just expressed us, hey, what's happening is an hour to two hours away. Um, you know, I think you'll be perfectly fine where you're going. You shouldn't have any trouble. Liberty Travel denied our request for an on-camera interview and sent us this statement. Quote, while we cannot undo what happened while in destination, we are working directly with the customer and hotel on a resolution. The property's headquarters is reviewing this, and we will be communicating directly with the customer once we have an update. However, Liberty Travel would not confirm to Fox 43 if agents will tell other travelers what happened to Myers, or at least warn them of the risk. As for Myers, he says he'll continue to let people know about his experience. A video he posted on Facebook about the incident already has more than 1,500 shares. Be aware of what's going on around you. Educate yourself. Look and find out what's going on in that area that you're going to visit. The U.S. Department of State does have several Mexico travel advisories. Most of the area is under a level two, which means exercise increased caution. The State Department says violent crimes like homicides, kidnappings, carjackings and robberies are widespread in the country. It also was found the murder rate is up compared to 2016. Now, most of that is drug and gang related. However, the State Department does say some bystanders have been hurt or killed during some of those shootings. And last month, the party town was hit by 14 murders in just 36 hours. That happened um, in April, rather, not last month, but that is according to the newspaper, The Sun. They had reported wow. on that. A lot of folks like to go to Mexico to mm -hmm. vacation. And what people tell you often is, oh, just stay on your hotel property, you'll be fine. Well, in this case, mm -hmm. this man believes he was on hotel property and was very close to witnessing something. So just know, yeah. if you are going to travel to Mexico, 
the beach is public property. Mm -hmm. So your hotel may not protect you if something like that happens there. And I think there. a lot of people, when they go to on an excursion like that or a vacation like that, they want to go venture off and do some mm -hmm. excursions or do things like that. So. Who doesn't want to go on the beach when it's right yeah. in front of your yeah. hotel? Mm. But just some things to be aware of and maybe something to ask your travel agent if you're planning a trip like this. Mm. And if you have a story you want me to look into, Fox 43 wants to find out. Let me know. Send me a message on Facebook or shoot me an email at fox43findsout at fox43.com.